man. We learned something. So, have you ever ate one? Uh, not yet. I would love to try one sometime. Yeah. But see, this is the experiment. I'll tell us it works. <laughs> we'll come back talking to you like this. <laughs> In the uh -huh. throat. Of course. If I grab this here and pull it, this is the skull right here. Gabesa. Yeah. And inside here are the stones. Hmm. I cut away so I don't chip it. I lessen the chance of chipping it. I see you right there. It's right here. I can get it to turn. There's oh, one. wow. Look at that. Yeah, so that's a magic really cool. trick. And every fish has it. Sharks do not, but all it's bony like, fish have it, yes. Okay. And some are like fingernail, a 40-inch cobia, they're like fingernail clippings, really tiny. Wow. And jacks and anything in the Pompano family, they're tiny too. Hmm. I catch a lot of big permits. Yeah, it would be hard for you to find them. They're very small. Huh. That wouldn't be nice. I'll, I'll give you this. And let's see if it's a turn. Come on, buddy. Just a little bit more. No, I didn't have battery here, that's why I didn't use the camera. No, make it, should make it. Come on, buddy. There you go. That's a nice throb. Yeah, that's it's, sometimes nice. it's people put these that's like, how the body like if there's a lady that gets these they might make these in the earrings. Oh man. And yeah. someone says, What is that? Yeah, they look like tell? stones. Yeah, I mean they, they are they they the, the texture of a nail or anything like that, you know, it's like hmm. it's like a stone. Now, if these stay in your pocket and they go in the washing machine, they'll break. They will chip. Well, the texture of a teeth, probably, right? Wow. There you go. That is such a good And the catfish are round. Would you like me to get the catfish? Please, yes. He, he can a keep little more those. of a challenge. He, you can keep them. No, hold on to those. You, right. you keep oh, them. You've earned it. I'll okay. Take them. Awesome. Okay. And then... The other one is bigger, so they're probably going to be... Slimy. I'm going to set it over there. Come watch. Need more room. I can even get you to slide and kicking, I'd be a little less apt to do this because you get stuck pretty good. And this guy's gonna be big. And a lot of times these big ones are the males. Males are mouth brooders. They'll put the eggs in their mouth. The females should lay the eggs and ignore them. Those are wow. the pressures. Yeah. Where I got to go on this is a little bit different. Where are these stones are a little bit more of a challenge. Where are these stones are a little bit more of a challenge. They're going to be right here on the side. There's three sets of rocks. You've got them in your head for hearing the anvil, stirrup, and the hammer. Three, three sets of rocks? Mm -hmm, but the other ones are smaller. I've gotten them out of here before out of a catfish but they're tiny. The other ones are small. Part of your skull, when you're developing into becoming a human being, part of your skull breaks into little pieces. And the stones are right in, right about here. And I might get my way a little bit. He's going to crack the cranium, I guess. Yeah. There you go. That's crazy. Oh my God, that's awesome. See yeah. right there? See? <laughs> Here, that's where it is, right there. There's a little gel, there's a little coating around this thing. It's right there, it's inside that coating. It's right there. It's Don't break it because this is going to you too. <laughs> no, you can't break those things. They're super strong. This one's really super strong. It's just getting turned. It's getting turned. Yeah, because the bigger the fish, the thicker the skull. I think it's behind, but I'll actually, this is a little bit different than the other stuff that I normally get them out of. It's right here, actually. That's where I want to go. Oh, okay. It's right here. Nobody brings a catfish. <laughs> <laughs> Just me, get all this. This is what I want right here. It's probably been a while since you have seen one. 
Yeah, this one's cooler. Well, Wait. you know, you can use the slime to pack wheel bearings and stuff. Really? Oh. I'm kidding. Okay. okay. <laughs> you accepted that so well. Here it is. You see it now? Oh, I see it now. Hey, there we go. I was going to say, but that's the only, only use I got here from a cat, for a catfish. I want, I want to eat it. I want to see how it tastes. Maybe I love it. This one is not bad. The Indians mostly ate catfish a thousand years ago. Uh, what? Look at that There's the first that one. See, I told you I had a liner on it. There you go. How big that is. Put that wow. in a slingshot. Yeah. You could be a regular Davy and Goliath there, man. Yeah. So these are much more sturdy. They don't break. This will go through a washing machine, no problem at all. <laughs> sea trout, that sea trout will, will fracture though. So based on the size, or how you know about how old this fish could You'd be? have to cut it in half. Oh, okay. every year the fish gets older, it puts on another ring of growth. Oh, See? okay. How do you cut it in half though? I mean, you need well, you mount it I mean, on a special, in a special block. And then you take it through something special called a microtome, and it's able to slice it and dice it. Yeah. I would think like some maybe jewelry. Uh... Come on, the papa. This fish is gonna swim funky now. He's gonna go. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I don't feel very. Good. I got a headache. <laughs> I got a headache. Muy enfermo. A little sheath right there. Awesome. So the way you can get these out, if you really want one, is do this. Move it towards itself. Mm -hmm. right? I usually do it with the rag, so I slip and I don't have an issue. So do it like this. Hmm. Is a little harder to get if you want. Just put it and steam it. See, you got that right there. That's the business end of it right there. Um, it'll cause you your pain and woe. Does it have any poison in it? It has um, stuff that would irritate you, correct. Yeah. But the slime also counteracts any of the stuff that you might get on you. As strange as it sounds, if you got stuck and you had problems, Mm -hmm. Then what you do is you take the slime from the fish from and the put fish. it on that pain. You see, there's what one is right there. That's a really nice one. <laughs> Again, this is so easy. It looks like a stingray. Uh, and, Correct. And, and, and it's kind of like Except, look at the bend. See yeah, the bar? Yeah, yeah. yeah, the barbs. Yeah. So again, you straight. take this and you go towards it and it'll pop it out. The barbs are designed to like mess you up. Correct. Yeah, but, yeah. you know who lo and why catfish are so important? Cobia, snook, goliath grouper eat catfish a lot. Oh, really? Very important food. Mm. Yeah, plenty here. And the Indians, that's what they mostly ate a thousand years ago. We know that because those round rocks are in there a lot. Wow. In their old Indian middens. That is pretty cool. So there's a second one. Thank you. This other one's a little more difficult to get out. But you know what you can do is you can mark it around here. There's a little shield on here because mm -hmm. this all locks in place. Right. You know what you're doing? They'll all lock. And the problem is when it locks and you get stuck, you're in hurting. Yes. So there you go. Man, we learned something. So have you ever ate one? Uh, not yet. I would love to try one sometime. Yeah. But see, this is the experiment. It tells it works. <laughs> we'll come back talking to you like this. <laughs> <laughs> <Not really. laughs>